Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we are going over Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 5, Episode 8 called The Last Day. So we start off with the um, people are on the Zephyr and it's 2018 and they're about to crash. With Robin predicting like, oh, we'll survive the crash. And then um, she's supposed to remember something but she can't remember. Then we go back to where they are in the future and the guy gets friends and the team gets reunited on the old Zephyr in the future where Robin is. Then Deke sees, I think his name was Hoss. I'm pretty sure that's not right, but anyway, that's what I'm going with. It turns out his uh, Deke's dad is alive and he's on on the um, on the outpost. And that Cass, then we go to Cassius who is pissed off at everything. And wants to send Sonara after Daisy. And so he's going to do that. And then Cassius wants to come for everybody and show retribution. And then um, the people on the White House, they blame Flint. And then we have Coulson talks to Robin. And she told her mom everything. And uh, her mom's no longer around. So she doesn't really... Um, She's kind of incoherent. Like she, like basically, she remembers the past and the present as one, and it's hard for her to snap back to reality. But she does for a little bit, and she says, "Today is the day it all ends." Then Deacon and Daisy talk about dads, and she kind of just gives like a very, very well. It's not really a lie, but a very careful, a very careful miss. <laughs> Why? It's basically a little bit like saying like about her dad's like, oh, it was Rocky at the start. She definitely fibbed her ass off on that one. But I was just like, what? <laughs> and so anyway, they're talking about dads and how like they love their kids and wants her to say everything's fine. Then Yo Yo talks to Flint and then Sci Fi uh, found a conductor. Uh, Fitzsimmons. I say Sci Fi. Fi Sci. Anyway, they found the conductor, and they're trying to figure out what it does. And the uh, guy says that it brought them here, and through the monolith. And then uh, he leaves, and um, there are lines that they make out. And then Enoch talks to Phil and um, May, and then uh, about how Robin's like, you just gotta be patient with her, and you just it's, it takes a while for it to kick in. Then Robin gives. Um, Max a plane, basically telling her what's going to be happening on the plane, and they could pretty much got to move quick soon. Then Mac found all the shield tech and found his left, his trusty axe shotgun. And then, um, then they see the Kree. Um, basically, the um, the Kree's will spray down the floor and will send the roaches to Tim, where all the people are. Then we cut to where May it, um, found something, and it was a piece of the monolith that brought them there. And then <clears throat> the people in the White House got rid of the roach through <laughs> that shotgun. <laughs> and then we have a flashback where May is making a deal with the Cree, and then Ro Robin is talking about Flint. She gets saying Flint's name over and over again. And uh, Mac is gone, then Yo-Yo goes to fight. Then we go back to where they are in the future, and then Deke confronts Guy because basically um, Deke won a piece of the monolith when his mom died because um, he just wanted something to remember her by, and basically the dad said, I don't trust you, and took the pieces with him. And so for him to leave it in a locker, it's very strange, and so the guy basically knocks him out. And then um, we cut to where Mac turns on the air vent, driving the roaches to a single room where Yo-Yo uh, puts basically, a, I think it's a splinter bombs in the roaches and dissolves them. Then Daisy um, talks to Robin and then she said time is running out. And then the guy talks to her. And then we have Fitzsimmons figuring out a conductor and they got locked in. Then um, the people on the Zephyr are turning on them. And then the guy shows her um, 
shows Daisy the footage of her getting off the Quinjet and going into uh, going into something. And then it says that's the last time anyone saw Quake. And next thing we know what happened, there was a 12.8 earthquake that just broke the earth like an egg. And then we have... We have a flashback where Fitz is literally spazzing out because Robin is being really incoherent and she can't handle the kid. This is in when uh, Sims is going to die and all this other stuff. She's, he just can't take it. And basically, May just tells him, you need to take a breath and shut it down. <clears throat> then we go back to the, uh, the future where Daisy is Daisy versus people. And um, basically, um, May and Colson help out, but the guy stabs Robin. Then we have a flashback where May, basically, May raised her. That's what Robin says to future May, and how she raised her and like, thought of her as her own. And you get it as she gets the maternal instinct of May, which is very refreshing because it's so different from the warrior and all this stuff. So um, basically, Saying basically, what's going back and forth between the um, present, um, the future, and the past, and basically saying like, like I best to tell you, like I haven't seen that vision yet of saving the world. She's like, and May goes like, you will, sweetie, you will. It was like a very touching moment. I really love that. And basically, just tells Robin that um, in the future, just tell me how we're best to save the world, and we'll do it together. And so um, Robin tells her that you will save the world, but tells her how tells them how to do it and how to get back. But we don't hear it. But she tells May what happens, and then she's gone. And then we have Yo Yo gets rid of uh, gets rid of the credit things on the people. You know the things that are on the wrist. You know right there. She's getting rid of those. And then May um, says they need to get Flint. And so he's a key part on how to get home. And then Sonara is on the crash ship. Not the Zephyr, but the crash ship. And he says, like, kill them all, basically. That's what, um, what's his face said? What's his name? Saya? No. Idiot. What is the... Dummy's name, Cassius. There we go. <laughs> and that's the end of the episode. So I am pumped for next week. I'm like, I'm like, oh my god, this is gonna be so amazing. Uh, I really like the episode. I'll give this a plus. I thought everything was really good. And also, um, I forgot to mention Daisy can't get rid of her um, thing right here, and they need some type of tech to um, add, reactivate it or to get rid of it. Because if they try to do it themselves, it might paralyze her from the uh, neck down. <laughs> so anyway, I thought this was a really good episode. Um, it's nice seeing Robin and all this, all this other stuff. I'm just so excited for next week. My goodness. But anyway, I'm very interested to see what's going to happen. And I like how um, Deke is now like part of the starting to be integrated into part of the team. And that Yo-Yo Ra is trying to lead a revolution on the lighthouse. And we get to see what would happen if they did not get transported. So it's very interesting to see all that happen. So I think that's what I'm doing for this episode and in this video, obviously. So um, I'll see y'all in my next video. Just like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next video. And have an awesome night or awesome day whenever you watch this. Bye, everybody.